Hey guys, so today I thought I'd talk about my 10 favorite, most thick, most hydrating, fragrance-free K-Beauty moisturizer. And I came up with a good list of 10 of them that have really impressed me. Some I've been using years, some are newer picks that I've found. So I'm going to start at the top. They're all fragrance-free, very thick, hydrating products. So the number one product is the Astera Addo Barrier 365 Moisturizer. It's a newer product I've been testing for a couple months now, and I'm loving it. It's more of a nighttime moisturizer. A lot of these are more nighttime moisturizers, but sometimes when the daytime is super dry outside, like it's been this morning, I think it was negative five out and snowy, negative five degrees Fahrenheit, cold, and your skin is very dry, and this stuff is very protective and hydrating. Uh, ingredients, cerabides, squalane, carnauba wax, alantlin, wonderful ingredient list. It is thick, which makes me love it, which is why I'm talking about it. And it really just smooths over skin really nicely, absorbs pretty quickly. So really wonderful product. Highly recommend checking it out. And it's pretty darn affordable. So I'll link to all these below. Next up, we've got the Isentree Yamroot Vegan Milk Cream, which is, I like this line from Isentree. I didn't love the cleanser version, but the cream has brought me back on board. And you're seeing Yamroot show up more and more products because Yamroot is kind of a... Uh, cruelty-free vegan alternative to snail mucin extract in terms of its hydration benefits and how it feels on skin. So you're going to start to see it more than uh, I believe we have in the last few years. So this one, one is wonderful. Yam root extract, sunflower seed oil, panthenol, rice extract, ceramides. Um, I'll give, a, give you a little look at how thick it is. There we go. So it is hydrating and you can see how thick it is. It doesn't even move. So I've been using this one a lot at night, not so much in the daytime, but uh, when the weather gets colder, like negative five degrees Fahrenheit, uh, I've been loving this one. So it's very cold out. And even in the daytime, my skin needs it sometimes. So, okay, next up, we've got another newer product, the uh, Holika Holika Pantha Bible Vegan Cream, which... I believe this is paper packaging, so that's interesting. So I think it's recycled. It does it has a recycling picture that says don't recycle, like with an X over it. So anyway, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it feels like paper, so I think it is paper. Okay, so anyway, this one's really nice. Panthenol, olive fruit oil, yam root shows up again, and then shea butter, no fragrance in this one. This one has a little bit of a less thick texture than the other two I talked about, but still really wonderful. This one's a little bit more friendly for the daytime, which makes it uh, a nice option. And again, fragrance-free. It's a little bit pricey compared to the other ones. Uh, I'm, I keep waiting for it to be on sale. So anyway, I know there's a sticker over part of it, but whatever. I'll play with that later. Okay. Next up, we've got... Uh, I have to talk about this one because I love it. I want to talk about a ton. The Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I love this moisturizer. I've been using it for years. I don't need to talk to you much else about it. We've got Centella Asiatica in here, Shea Butter, Argan Oil, Chamomile, Peptides, Vitamin E. It's uh, just a wonderful hydrating cream. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Just a little bit of it goes a long way, and I really like using this one with my Tretinoin at night, sandwiching it in between this and a different moisturizer. It really does a nice job. Okay, next up we've got the Purito Dermide Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack. So now if we do that, then they're not going to be able to see my swatches as much. Okay. <laughs> Cameraman is having a nervous breakdown today. I apologize. Okay, next up from Purito, we've got the Dermide Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack, which they changed the uh, packaging now. It's like totally purple, which is fine. I, uh, I, this is my second or third tube of it now. It's a really nice thicker sleeping cream with a nice lotiony texture to it. So here we go. Um, so this one's meant to be used as, as like a sleep mask. So at the very end of your evening routine, layer it on a thick layer and go to sleep. So it'll soak in while you sleep. So in here we've got some uh, wonderful ingredients. So we've got Centella Asiatica, Squalane, Hojava seed oil, Matacasic acid, Panthenol, Wonderful product, very affordable as well. A little bit goes a long way. The fact that I've repurchased it as well speaks a lot to it. The fact that I like it a lot, and I don't necessarily love the Purito brand as much, but um, anyway, it's worth a try in my opinion. Okay, next up, uh, we've got 
a smaller brand, Pea Calm, in their Kato Cream, which is a nice, wonderful moisturizer. And I haven't reviewed a ton from this brand because they're relatively new to me and they don't have a ton of products out there, but this one is really wonderful. Uh, the beneficial ingredients in here are a ton. So we've got Alantlin, ceramides, black currant seed oil, rapeseed sterols, Asiatic acid, no fragrance in here, wonderful product, thick texture, which makes it wonderful for daytime or evening time, smooths over skin really nicely. A little bit of it goes a long way, so a tube like this that's almost three ounces will last quite some time. So wonderful product, no fragrance in it, and lots of good, good ingredients in there. Okay, got a few more left. So next up, I've talked about this one a lot, and I love it, the Maison Rio Orga Barrier Cream. Myzen is hit or miss. Sometimes they have some great stuff. Sometimes their stuff sucks. I mean, like their last, the last thing I really bought from them was a cleansing oil. It came in a squeeze tube that was a mess and I hated it, but then I try this and I love it. Uh, so this one's really wonderful. Shea butter, green tea, seed buckthorn, mugwort. It is thick. So I like actually using this one on my neck. You can see how thick it is there. I love using this one on my neck at night because it really does a good job sinking in while I'm sleeping and layers well under and over other products or sometimes I'll use it during the daytime when it's really really cold out but otherwise this stuff is wonderful okay next up we've got a couple more uh I couldn't do a video on moisturizing products without mentioning the Casa Rx all-in-one snail cream I love this stuff uh snail mucin panthenol arginine just a lovely product and now it's in a squeeze too which is even better I'll link to it at yes style which still has the jar but if you pick it up from Cosrx website they have the squeeze tube there but anyway so I don't need to swatch it do I oh I will there <laughs> there you go it's wonderful I love it okay two more to mention a little bit of that stuff goes a long way I'll just my arm needs hydration okay two more so next up we've got the Soon Young 2X Barrier Repair Cream, which is lovely, fragrance-free, just really nice product. Actually, this works well for a lot of different skin types. So even dry skin that's acne-prone will have a good luck with this. So in here, we've got Panthenol, Matocasicide, Shea Butter, Green Tea, Sunflower Seed Oil. It is wonderful, and I'll never forget how to not close it again. But anyway, because to open it, you got to turn it one, one click and then squeeze it like a airless jar or something. There we go. Da -da -da. Okay. So this mm -hmm. stuff is thick, but not terribly thick. So it really does a nice job. And then to close it, turn it again. Because you know what? I had this tube sitting in my countertop for like a month like this, halfway closed. And then I remembered how to close it. I don't know why I forgot. But anyway, okay, just a side note. <laughs> Because somebody asked me, how do I close it? I'm like, that was my problem. And it took, somebody mentioned it finally and I figured it out. Okay, last but not least, one more product from Cosrx. Their Sika Cream Intense. I believe they have a mild version and then the intense version. I always go to the most intense version. Um, so in here we've got Centella Asiatica as well as several Centella components and derivatives. Sunflower seed oil, beeswax, which is a great exclusive ingredient, macadamia seed oil. This one has more of like an ointment texture than anything else, actually, which makes it really unique. So if you have very dry skin or damaged skin barrier, this one is going to be nice. It also helps with redness. Just really wonderful product. So there we go. I need like a brightening body product because I can see all the freckles on my arm. I'll work on that later. But anyway, okay. So these are my favorites for the thickest K-Beauty fragrance-free moisturizers. I came off the good list, and I, I, to be honest, I could have come up with more, but I have to stop somewhere. So anyway, these are my HGs, because I'm cool. Anyway, interested in you guys, if you have a holy grail thick cream, or maybe you don't, and you're going to try one of these, leave a comment with what it is. Um, or what you're going to try, and love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.